Hello everybody, it's the whole universe, hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian and who brings value to my own experience. And today we're gonna to talk about how to create a program that will detect all the people inside of the specific room, office or maybe building, construction, maybe specific space. I imagine that we have specific like room, yes? And inside of it so we have objects and need to detect them. How to do this? Let's, let's try to find out. First of all, need to create a specific 3D 3D space. It is three dimensions. Y, X and Z. It will be here. Yes. And I imagine that we have three dimensions here. And it is my room and in your room I imagine three dimensions right now. It is a X is going to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and etc. till the specific number. Also Z can go to infinity number like finite number here or infinite. And also so Y goes upper to the some space. And also we have people who are going to this room and they are objects and they can be inside of the positions of this room. For example, they can stand in a position of a room. For example, if the person, it is a small dot. Yes, I imagine that it, this person, it is a small dot, for example. Then dot could have a coordinates. For example, X equals 3, also Y equals 2 and Z equals 2. Two. Then his coordinates will be in this position. He will be x3, y2, and z2, and it means he will be kind of here, yes? And if it will be another number, he will be here. And the program should detect if the object inside of it, then count plus one. And that's all. And okay. And then we should say that uh, he is not moving or she is not moving. This uh, person is not moving because it could bugging. It it cause bugging because if you always change in positions then the counter co can go like you change the position okay count again count again and count again you can you should count the dot you should determine it and then count so let's find out how to count the dots how to detect them we will have cameras inside of this room inside of this inside of this office. Office will be, I imagine that it is easy. Right now it is easy to understand uh, task will be. I imagine that room is white, fully white, three dimensions white and inside of it we have a person and he will be fully black. I imagine that he's with clothes and uh, fully black. He he started to go to the room from the, from the entrance. We also have an entrance, for example, in this room when he goes. If he goes to the entrance, then check him like uh, if camera detected that on entrance point appeared one person and person can go further to the to the room after the entrance then count this person then goes another person then goes another then goes another and also angle specific of the camera should be because uh, I imagine that someone is going to the store and uh, here is the detectors in Russia at least we have specific like like specific tools that detects that someone came or uh, he's out that counts how many clients and how many guests and how many people arrived to uh, log in to, to, and joined to our room bookstore or something another type of store and we have specific like grids uh, grids or panels that are detecting for example i go from i imagine that it is a panel yes and i'm going kind of through the grid specific and then it detects me and plus one counter and the same with cameras it should show that here is the person and he is going and then counter number one and then it should be one interesting thing then if this person goes out then it should detect that minus one and it is how parking lots work by the way when parking lot someone is going to this place then it detects that car is here and something happens it could be cameras uh, in different positions for example camera should detect on a specific point for example in a parking lot we have like cars I imagine that slots one slot second first second third fourth fifth and for fourth we have a camera for fifth we have a camera for third we have for second for first and camera actually it is a word for a detector it could be visual detector it could be kind of the 
the thermo detector, for example, thermical and uh, also temperature detector, that it is something appeared. Also, sound detector, it could be, or maybe it could be a detector of the movement or something that it is placed and less uh, less sun goes to the space. For example, it is blocking sun from upper side. I imagine that we have a sunny day and uh, it is always sunny day in this uh, city and uh, if car goes here then shadow appeared. If shadow appeared then it counts, okay? When shadow uh, this disappeared then it goes away and it always should be the sun or in other in another way it could be bugging. It is always testing, it is always finding new solutions how many bugs could be and then fix the bugs and then look at again and then fix the bugs. It is iterations always like sprints in agile or scrum technology in teams right now we have in real life scrum and agile words and they mean that it is a specific type of business working a specific type of company working especially in it industry and they are working with one iteration then testing then one iteration then testing one iteration and etc like do check and repeat and plan again and do something like this it is for different positions it actually it is like plan do then see the results do the feedback then again plan and uh, it is going around and uh, if you want to create uh, what th this room then you need to <laughs> to have detectors that will show also need to set parameters for example if it is harder complex i mean ho complex system then people have different types of clothes that they could s they could have red, green, and also yellow, and it should take different colors. And also, if she's bringing someone, for example, it is a child, then need to detect a face, for example, or something else. For example, I imagine that I'm here, yes, I'm a person, and I'm a mother or a father of someone, and I'm bringing the person inside of the store, and it, I mean, the child on my, on on my arms and it should detect that uh, this child is connected to us and then we should uh, kind of bring him to this place and uh, counter should count two people yes and uh, we should also we can also add specific thing that how many 25 years old connected how many 30 years old and it is all about narrow networks and detecting them and some of the prediction type because we can't predict we sometimes do, don't know how to say that it is really 25 30 35 40 years old person but we can kind of detect it and uh, do predictions and it is prediction models of bias theorem and also something like this uh, like probability statistics field and we can do this uh, like predict how how old is he and what's his interests and actually if we will look at this like in a mini of the world then we can gather this information it is again it is uh, for purposes of like uh, scientific purposes we are talking right now for a good and uh, then to detect it we need to understand uh, like we should know the dna of a person then or maybe some of the qualities inner qualities biological qualities of a person then we can say three years old he is or she is or maybe she is uh, six or maybe 15 or 25 then we should know biological sphere and his uh, date birth birth date and also another factor so we need to know fully like year and also the month and day when he or she was born and uh, it is really interesting to know how to do this actually we can kind of do this we need a specific system for this person from his birth and it will be counting and to, we understand that in society not everybody will be like agree with this system because uh, everybody wants not uh, maybe everybody but majority of people they like privacy they like confidentiality and uh, things of this nature that's why we have information security fields and something like this and uh, actually we should uh, create a security system for it that uh, this data will be used only in a good way not in a against yes but uh, i'm positive about it and i was learning cyber security i mean that cyber security and i know how it works and actually together all the data need to count it from the birth
and everything will be fine. I, I mean that then we can do this. It is actually generations should be going. Maybe in 2200 we will have it that everybody. Or maybe 2100 because right now the progress is going forward and it is really fast. Maybe we will see it. So thank you a lot for watching. Right now you know how to detect all the people. We need a counter specific. Also we can see specific displays. We can create specific displays for it. And also we can, we can do kind of visualization also what time is it until what's time the must we have inside of this room office or maybe store or maybe warehouse or maybe p parking lot or another th things maybe in metro suburban and also railway station we can detect it everywhere repository in archive or somewhere else like specific buildings specific rooms we can detect them inside of the space and even specific space on area area on the street we can detect them like specific place of area and we can find all the characters inside of it i mean characters persona per, personas and also individuals and people people yes so thank you a lot for watching improve be human and share humanity see you next time